Thanks to Altonet Software for sponsoring this video. Do you need to make sure that your app runs on multiple platforms? Or did you think about maybe trying to do some cross-platform development? Then you did good, you landed on the right video. After this video, you should be ready to kickstart your cross-platform development with MAUI and C Sharp. So let's get into it. All right, before we start, ensure you have the .NET SDK installed. If you don't, visit the official .NET website to download and install it. If you are unsure, check for it by opening your terminal or command prompt and typing .NET dash dash version. This should display the .NET version you have installed. For this project, we'll use .NET MAUI, which stands for .NET Multi-Platform App UI. This will get us there in no time. You probably heard about it already. So now is the time you learn to use it. Type the following command to install the MAUI workload. .NET workload install MAUI. This command installs everything you need to develop .NET MAUI apps. This can take a while though, so you need to be patient. To make project creation easier, install the MAUI templates with .NET new install microsoft.maui.templates. With this, you'll be able to create new MAUI projects using the .NET new MAUI command. If you need an IDE, consider installing Visual Studio 2022. Ensure you select the .NET MAUI workload during installation. By the way, you need to have version 17.4 of Visual Studio or later to get this workload to appear. If you already have Visual Studio installed, open any project and click on Tools, Get Tools and Features or simply open your Visual Studio installer if you can locate it. Then check for your Visual Studio version and if it's 17.4 or later, you should be able to find and install the MAUI workload. You should be able to use any other editor as well though. So make your choice. Perfect, now let's create our project. In your terminal, type the following commands. .NET new MAUI-N cross-platform app. This creates a new directory named cross-platform app. Navigate to your new directory. If you used the same command, that should be somewhere in your users folder. Inside you'll find several files and folders, but we'll focus on mainpage.xaml and mainpage.xaml.cs and open the .csproj file using Visual Studio or your preferred editor. Open mainpage.xaml. This is where we'll design our app's interface. In this file, we should simply be able to delete anything currently in there. Now we start our app. First, we define a content page, which is the basic layout container for our app. Inside, we add a stack layout, which will stack our label and button vertically. We then add a label to display our quote and a button that, when clicked, will fetch a new quote. Alright, next open mainpage.xaml.cs. This is where our app's logic resides. Again, clean up the file and let's set everything up. First, we create a private list quotes to store our inspirational quotes. Be creative with them and write as many as you can think of, so that we have enough to show off and test our app with. Next, in the main page constructor, we initialize our UI components and display a random quote. The initialize component method is automatically generated and is responsible for connecting the XAML file to its code behind. The display random quote method selects a random quote from our list and sets it as the text for our quote label. Similarly to the initialize component method, quote label is a named control in the XAML that will be accessible from the code behind. Then on get quote clicked is the event handler for our button. When clicked, it fetches a new random quote by calling our method. Fairly simple. This should suffice to check if our app works and to be able to show off a bit of our cross-platform abilities. All right, now comes the exciting part, seeing our app come to life. But before we do that, I have another really easy way to get you not only started but thriving with your cross-platform apps, Alternate UI. If you're serious about cross-platform development, you'll love what they offer. 
Alternate UI is a cross-platform .NET UI framework that allows you to develop graphical user interface applications with the full power of .NET. It provides a native look and feel on Windows, macOS and Linux. What's even cooler is that it's built on top of the .NET framework and integrates seamlessly with Visual Studio. So if you're looking to keep up with good engineering practices and deliver your application quickly across multiple platforms, Alternate UI is definitely worth checking out. And with that, a big thanks to Alternate Software for sponsoring this video. As we are working with Visual Studio, we should be able to run the app by pressing F5 or clicking on this button right here. So at least Windows, as per usual, should not be that difficult. You should see the app launch on Windows with our quote of the day display. After a small delay, there it is. You can click on the button and a random quote will appear. By the way, if you get an error, which you likely will, stating that you need to use set Windows to developer mode, please make sure to do so. As this is building a Windows app, Windows will have to be ready to accept and install it to run them successfully. Nothing weird going on, just go to the developer settings and turn on developer mode in there. Once you do, you should see it running. If you want to run your app outside of Visual Studio, we can quickly publish a release, like so. In the Solution Explorer, right-click on your project and click on Publish. Select Site Loading for now. If you want to publish for the store, you can select the other option instead. Deselect Automatic Updates unless you have an installer. That is not needed anyway for our tests, so we will leave it off. If you have a certificate, select it here. If not, select Skip. Select or create a new publishing profile. Here is where you can choose for it to be a release version and where it is created at. Then set your version number. And that should be it. After a bit, your release version will be created and you can launch the containing MSIX file to sideload the app for testing. And there we go, running like a charm. Great, now transitioning from Windows to Android is where the magic of cross-platform development truly shines. Let's dive into it. If you haven't already, you'll need to set up an Android emulator. In Visual Studio, navigate to Tools, Android, Android Device Manager. Here you can create a new emulator or use an existing one. Ensure that it's started and running. Change the target platform drop-down near the top in Visual Studio to Android. You might need to accept a license agreement. With the emulator running and the target set to Android, press F5 or click the green start button. In a moment, you should see your app running on the Android emulator, just as it did on Windows. Interact with the app on the emulator. Click the get new quote button and observe its behavior. It should function identically to the Windows version, showcasing the power of .NET MAUI's cross-platform capabilities. All right, and there you have it. Your first cross-platform application built with MAUI. And if you want to learn more about .NET, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button to let us know that you liked .NET MAUI content and leave a comment down below with requests for future videos or with your feedback. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, Happy coding.